Welcome back to Freeing ERP. My name is Haley and today we will be going over PO receipts in Profit 21. In this video, we will cover how to navigate to PO receipts in Profit 21 and two of the different tabs on the PO receipts window. In order to navigate to purchase order receipts, open the inventory module. From there, you'll go to the inventory management submodule. Then you'll open the transaction menu, and then you'll select purchase order receipts. You might have to scroll down to find what you are looking for. Another and usually easier option to navigate to PO receipts is to go to the search bar and type in purchase order receipts. When the results load, you'll want to double click on purchase order receipts, transaction slash inventory management. The first tab you'll see when PO receipts loads is PO. To begin, enter your purchase order number. Everything regarding that PO will automatically populate. Some of the fields we have are pretty standard across P21, such as company ID, vendor ID, and supplier ID. However, we also have some other tabs you may not be accustomed to. Before we get into those fields, let's discuss what PO receipts is. This window is used to receive material that is delivered to your warehouse. We have three ways that we can receive material in PO receipts. Option one is to receive items and automatically allocate them to existing orders. Option two is to receive the items and then manually allocate them to an existing order. And finally, option three is to only receive items into inventory. When doing this, no material is allocated to any open orders. Now that we know why we use PO receipts, let's get back into those fields I mentioned earlier. Below our standard fields is receipt number. Receipt number is automatically assigned by P21 whenever quantities are received against this purchase order. Next to receipt number, you'll see shipment ID. This is just the external shipment number that your supplier gives you. At the bottom is external reference number. This is a field that helps you locate landed cost drivers when vouching. If you or your company use vessel tracking, you'll find that P21 defaults the vessel ID to the PO in this field. However, this is a user defined field, so you can enter whatever you want. If you leave this field blank, P21 auto populates it with the receipt number that it generates when you save the inventory receipt. Complete indicates whether or not all of the items have been received. Received all items will receive everything on the PO and fill their quantities. Then we have exclude from lead time, which prevents P21 from using this item's delivery info when calculating average lead time. Next, you'll see three options that correlate with the points I mentioned earlier, allocate automatically, allocate manually, and receive only. Auto voucher exemption sets the PO to not allow automatic vouching of any of its vendor invoices. You'll need to review and process all invoices for the PO on the convert vendor invoice to voucher window. We also have period and year, which determine the period that the shipment will be posted to in general ledger. Finally, we have the approved and print labels checkboxes. The other tab we'll go over today is the Items tab. This tab is located below the PO tab. For each item, you will see the item ID, item description, and quantity ordered. If there have been any other receipts before this one, you'll also see prior quantity received and quantity remaining. Other fields available are quantity received, UOM, complete, exclude from lead time, and wrong part received. Thanks so much for watching today's video on PO Receipt. Join us Thursday for part two, where we will discuss more tabs on PO Receipts. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Also, you can find the timestamps for each section discussed in the description box. Before you go, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We post new videos every Tuesday. And leave a like on the video if you found it helpful. 
Also, make sure to check out our blog, Freeing ERP, and social media, which you can find linked on screen and down below. See you in our next video. Mm-hmm.